YouTube. What's up? It's your boy Drew back at it once again with another video. I hope everybody is doing well. Today's video will be getting into another UA shoe review. Before we get into it, everything in this video is based on my thoughts and my opinions. Do what you want with the, with the information in which you receive today. Merely educating myself on what's going on across the water and sharing it with you all. This particular shoe we're checking out comes from good people over at upshoe.ru. Thank you to Lily and everyone over there for always helping me acquire shoes. And today I got another shoe. This is the second colorway uh, for this particular shoe. We still even have, still have not even gotten the first colorway. That colorway is officially supposed to drop April 30th. It was delayed from last month, but this month apparently is going to be the month. So stay tuned and I look forward to trying to get those retail pairs once they drop. But without further ado, let's get into the second colorway for the all new silhouette, Travis Scott Jumpman Jack TR. And that's gonna be in the university red colorway. Start off with the box, Jack on the side, Jumpman Jack TR, US men's size 13, my size. Sickle mode, uh, little lines on the top. Sickle mode logo on this side with the Jumpman logo and Travis Scott logo. And of course, the other Nike writing throughout the box. Got my little table here. I'm going to open this up. Give you guys a view of what I see. Nicely, nicely packaged. And here you have it. Now, these are really nice. So these actually have the bag. Um, and all of these new Jumpman Jack TRs will come with these bags. This is a beautiful black material bag. You have the Sicko Mode logo right there. You have the Jumpman logo right there, nicely embroidered. Here you have the laces that are dipped in red wax. Red wax. Nicely done, looking good. The bag feels nice. This is a really nice material. Bag is sturdy. Also, no nasty smells. This thing smells like a bag material so that is the bag itself let me put that to the side show you guys real quick so excuse the inside of the box here i did that accidentally and you see you got your brown paper with some lines on top very nice detail i'm gonna open it up and bam so as you can see nicely wrapped and what do we got there we got the sticker i did open these up uh, when I received them, I want to verify how they were looking. And um, they look really good in my opinion. This particular batch, I feel really came out well, uh, no doubt about it. So let me take out the shoe. So as you can see right here, you have the sticker. The Jack graphic will wear off with use over time with the Sigma Mode logo right there. So. That's really cool. Got the sticker right there. And then here you have it. Your Jumpman Jack University Red. This shoe has no nasty smells. I can't stress that enough. When I be reviewing some of these UA shoes from these companies, sometimes you get a little smell here and there. But this particular one and a lot of other ones I've been getting have not had any nasty or truly strong uh, odors. So big shout out to Upshoe to RU, Lily and everyone over there. Appreciate you very much. Uh, so yeah, let's start off real quick. You have this really nice soft leather, very nice quality, feels very uh, stiff to the touch. Come on down. You have your university red swoosh. You have the black, uh, uh, black canvas material right there in the middle. Um, you have the strap in the front. Very nice, it has the raised stitching. Another great touch. Let's go to the other side. You have your regular swoosh. I don't think I mentioned it, but you have the classic reverse swoosh. On the back side. you have the sickle mode uh, face. Man, this shoe is phenomenal. Um, I personally am a big fan of this silhouette. I think it's a phenomenal first solo shoe for Travis Scott. Uh, my personal favorite is the sail colorway, or as I call them, the reverse mochas. The reverse mocha Jordan 1 Lowe's are my personal favorite, Travis Scott. And the Jumpman Jack TR sail colorway, in my opinion, mimics 
the reverse mocha and I love it. Um, another really nice um, area is the tongue itself. Nice tumble, smooth uh, feel to the leather. You have your embroidered uh, Jumpman logo right there with the three lines above his head. And of course, what they were talking about before, that the Jack logo will wear off over time with use. And here you have the Jack logo. Nice, vibrant red, nicely done. Also love the outsole. Truly a unique take on an outsole, that crumbled look, um, very unique. I did have somebody in the comments um, in one of my other videos said that these resembled, damn. Man, I forgot who he said. The Saquon Barclays. Whew, my bad. The Saquon Barclays. So, and I definitely have to agree with that. Reminds me of the the Yeezy. Reminds me of an Air Trainer 2. Uh, a Mac Attack. There's so many shoes in which I feel this uh, Jordan inspiration. So, big, big shout out to the designers of this shoe. I'm a big, big fan. Um, again, thank you to Upshoe.ru uh, for allowing me to get these this get this pair of shoes from them uh, and i gotta say the attention the detail really nice new book going around the back of the collar very nice stiff shoe uh, in a good way doesn't feel cheap flimsy uh, none of that so very nice toe box and i will say the fit and the feel on feet are outstanding uh, no issues whatsoever no nasty pinching on the, the toes or anywhere on the foot. So, big shout out to those who have assembled these shoes. And let's go to the right foot. And here you have it. Once again, clean, consistent, no uh, glue, no odd stitching. And even that uh, toe box, as you can see right there, the, it's a uh, stitch inward, nice fold on the front. Very, very, very nice. And again, this leather is super nice. Soft, but yet still has a nice stiffness to it. Um, feels really good on feet. I can't stress that enough. Um, so these, for the category, are going to be my number two favorite colorway in this new silhouette. Now, this one in particular is considered the mid-cut, and there's also going to be a low cut. Now, that low cut, from the photos that I've seen, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing. And I definitely look forward to them releasing these uh, in that low cut. Uh, and I look forward to seeing, to trying to get those uh, when they come out. But, uh, you know, I really hope that those who want this shoe are able to get this shoe once it officially releases. Um, I really feel like this shoe should do really well. Um, and if it does sit, that's great because it'll give people an opportunity to get, some might say, uh, an actually hyped shoe. Um, I think for... And like I said this before, I think for a first shoe, they did a phenomenal job. The one thing I am missing are the laces. I did, I do have the laces. I just unfortunately misplaced them. That's on me. It does come with three sets. It comes with the white, and then it comes with three additional. You sure you have red, you have a spotted brown with white speckle, and I believe the other one was a cream color or sail color. But, but yeah, guys, once again, thank you to upshoe.ru. Lily and everyone over there for allowing me to get a hold of these shoes. Uh, also, they were nice enough to provide a discount code. Discount code Drew. Save yourself $15 on any and all future purchases. Any questions, hit them up. Everything will be in the description down below. Any questions for me, hit uh, um, head on over down below. Write your comments. Good, bad. Any interaction is better than no interaction. All right, y'all. Well, with that being said, appreciate your time as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It is truly, truly appreciated. Stay tuned for the next one. And uh, it's your boy, Drew, and I'm out. Peace.